Hi guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my YouTube channel. So, welcome to Motivation Monday. And this Monday, the topic that we're going to discuss is breathing. Therapeutic breathing is so important that actually the medical community has recognized it. And they built a little device that we give to patients after they have surgery, which is called an incentive spirometer. This machine, it's like a little plastic thing. It helps you uh, see how deep the breaths you're taking and you can mark it and make sure that you're either reaching that spot every breath or you're going further than that. So if the medical community is recognizing how important breathing is, then we need to pay attention to it as well. I have noticed that breathing is so important to me that one of the things that I have to do is whenever I'm faced with a challenging situation, big or small, I intentionally take a huge deep breath in. So let's say for example, I'm working in a hospital that has extremely long hallways, which what hospital doesn't? One of the things that I will do is as I need to walk down the hallway to get one thing or the other, I will make it a challenge to take an entire deep breath in the entire walk of the hallway. So. What I'm doing there is I'm making the walk instead of deoxygenating, I'm turning into an oxygenating experience. So another thing that I'll do is when I'm trying to give medications and let's say I'm in a really big hurry and it's like an IV push medication, for example, but I'm in so such a hurry and I'm so stressed that it's so tempting to just push the medication really quick. One thing that I will do is I will actually take a deep breath in as I'm giving the medication. And I will do that a few times because you know we need to give the medications over one to two minutes most of the time. That way I can kneel down close to my patient, do some therapeutic listening and breathing and giving the medication all at the same time. The last tip that I have for incorporating breathing into your daily routine is when anything negative is coming at you, now that could be negative response from a patient, negative response from other nurse, a doctor, Whoever it is, whenever you're receiving anything negative, make sure you are breathing in. Breathing in, again, it just immediately makes your whole body relaxed. You're completely oxygenated, which people can tell when you are. It's just one of those like submodalities that people just unconsciously can tell. And it'll help you respond in a much more therapeutic way. I use breathing exercises all the time. One of the things that I did and one of the reasons why I learned how to do this was I took yoga classes and I still do yoga classes. I try to go at least once a week. Um, sometimes life is a little too busy, but I really do try to do that. And in yoga, you can be holding extremely difficult poses and the instructor just keeps telling you to breathe through it, breathe through it. So it's kind of like this. We have incredibly difficult um, experiences and things that we have to deal with at work. So just kind of breathe through it, breathe through it because eventually it will go away and you will be a better person because you were able to go through it. All right guys, um, I really hope that you like this Motivation Monday message. Next week we're going to go over incorporating stretching into your daily um, routine as a nurse. So I will see you then, love you guys. Bye. Let's stay connected guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you re ignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.